everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm on site finishing up the final adapter on this under slab air intake for the wood stove. Uh, the last piece of the puzzle is going to be this piece of three inch metal um, vent pipe. And uh, I, I chose this so that I have some metal sticking up out of the ground behind the wood stove. Uh, it's, I don't really think there's any real concern about anything falling out of the back of the wood stove and starting a fire or melting anything because that I, I'm familiar with wood stoves, I'm familiar with that area, it never really gets all that hot back there, especially when you have a bunch of cold air coming through. But I just think in terms of uh, building improvals and all that kind of stuff, it would probably be nice if the last piece of the, the tube wasn't a piece of plastic coming up behind the wood stove. So I chose this. Also, it's just going to be a nice, clean, finished look and it's easy to attach things to it, uh, you know, for getting into the back. Uh, what I've got coming out of the ground is a 3 inch uh, adapter going from 3 inch to 4 inch uh, for the tunnel that goes under there. And the way I'm going to be securing it is just using some silicone glue. I had planned initially on using um, spray, uh, spray foam. I was going to do kind of spray foam around it. But the void uh, between this 3 inch uh, pipe and this 3 inch pipe, it's not particularly big, uh, you know, which makes sense because they're both supposed to be three inches. Again, three inches in one type of pipe isn't necessarily always the same as three inches in a different type of pipe. Um, but there is a little bit of a void and I'm going to be, uh, you know, filling it and securing it using the silicone glue. Uh, I've got this board here uh, to act as a brace so that this can be nice and plumb as it comes up. And I've got this all checked to make sure that these blocks are in exactly the right place uh, so that I'll be able to secure this and, uh, you know, I'll have a nice uh, clean plumb uh, pipe coming out. Doesn't matter if it's off by a few degrees or even 10 degrees. No, not really, but I think it'll look nicer if I uh, have it nice and plumb. Uh, this is old glue. This is, it says that it expired um, eight months ago. So I tested the glue ahead of time to make sure that it would actually set up. Uh, silicone glue, it does have an expiration date, so if you stock a bunch of this stuff thinking that, you know, the world will end and then 20 years you'll have silicone glue, uh, don't bet on it. This stuff does go bad after a while and it is good to test it before you use it to make sure that it's not junk. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put a bead of the silicone glue down inside of uh, this pipe here. And I'm going to be pretty liberal about it, as you guys know from my channel. If you look over my head right now, the thing that I did earlier today is that big rack. I finally got a storage rack and we're going to be using that. We're holding all of our tools. I already got pretty much uh, uh, filled up with stuff and it's nice to just have organization and know where things are as well as just keeping them up off the floor. Before I put this glue on here, I took some sandpaper and I cleaned up this pipe. This is an old pipe and I just wanted to make sure that it would, uh, the glue would stick to it so it had a nice clean surface. Okay, I'm putting it in there. I'm going to kind of, kind of swirl it around. All right. I'm going to check my plumb here. And plumb is a word that means straight up and down in carpentry. It's kind of the perpendicular version of level. Another thing, I need to adjust my blocks just slightly. That's me being really unreasonably accurate here. It really doesn't matter that much. Cool. And I'm going to use a piece of duct tape just to secure it to the uh, to this 2x4 here, which I have clamped to a couple of cinder blocks. I don't want to mess up my, my verticality while I do that. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I'm just going to give it a double check. It's good that way. And it looks good that way. I'll kind of secure it down there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. It come this way a touch. All right. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more glue just around the end, uh, the edge here, just to caulk it, make sure there's no leaks down there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to put uh, some spray foam around the base uh, as an insulator uh, after this is all set up. But uh, that's the final piece of the puzzle, and I'll just be putting a lid on it to make sure I don't have junk falling down inside. That's it. Thanks for watching.